Hey guys, all right, welcome to another How To with Foxy. This week we are concentrating on dining tables. So you will see we style all shapes and sizes of dining tables, round, oblong, rectangle, square, glass top, timber. We're gonna run through a couple. We're gonna keep it nice and succinct, um, but we do run through all of the, uh, the rules that we incorporate. So it doesn't matter what your dining table is, you'll be able to transfer these rules across to make sure that your dining table is styled just as beautifully. So we are going to have a look at a nice big round dining table, a smaller round dining table, and then a grand big uh, mother dining table that is 2.4 long, I think, off the top of my head. So the different elements that we bring across all of our dining tables are similar to what I keep saying for pretty much anything we're styling. You need a trio, you need height, you need interest, you need texture. So you will see we incorporate table runners. We do trays, we do the heights, bring in salt and pepper grinders or bottles of water. Then we have a nice big vase and something that is very, very important is greenery. Whether it's florals, whether it's fiddle leaf fig um, arrangements, whether it's dried, whether it's a beautiful and vibrant and green, we are all drawn to something natural. The reason we put on a beautiful big spread on our dining tables and we don't leave them empty is because it helps to draw the eye to certain pinpoints, there's certain elements into the home. So most of the time when we're walking through the entry point into a room, we will look at the dining table and then we will look outside. So by drawing the eye up to what's on the dining table, it then naturally will follow our point of view to go outside. So it's about helping to guide the eye as well as helping to frame and anchor a room. Hi guys, so we are at an install today. This one has a 150 centimetre round dining table. It's a nice big room, We've gone glass top to show off the space. So this particular dining table we actually purchased off eBay. They're available, it's a Todd dining table from Freedom. You can get it from Focus on Furniture as well. Um, it's a really good sized dining table. It does comfortably fit six. We always go for, go for odd chairs around it. Um, so we've gone for five fabric chairs. So point of today is how we pop bits and pieces on it. Um, the accessories on this one, so this is a formal dining space. So we go for less trinkets in, the, in a formal dining space. You can use candlesticks, you can use um, sort of whiskies, you can go for beautiful resin spreads. Um, however, for this particular one, we actually have a casual dining and the rest of the house is quite formal. So I've gone for, um, as you'll always notice, layering of height. So we've got our greenery, which is really high. We then have our glasses. We have our bowls with a little bit of uh, layering with the, the tea towel. The whole house has elements of green throughout, so that's why we have a green tea towel. And then being on a glass table, we've popped it on a tray. If you pop glassware and a glass vase onto a glass dining table, it's gone, it's wishy-washy, you can't see it. There is no differentiation, particularly in a photo. So we need to get it onto a tray. All right, guys, so we are still in the same house. This is now the casual dining meal setting. So you can see in this one, we've got more bits. We've got more trinkets, things that you would find in the home. So again, layers. So I've got the heights greenery up high, we've got salt and pepper grinders, and then we have an element that is a bit lower. Um, we've got a solid tabletop here. So this particular table is 120 centimetres round. It's the Padma dining table from Oz Design. Um, we can actually get this in a glass tabletop. We went for a solid top here because the room's quite big. We've got lots of light coming in. We don't need that openness. Um, but by having a solid top, it gives us the ability to be able to play with what we put on it. So we've gone for more depth, more colour, more darker, moodier pieces on the on the dining table. Love eucalyptus leaves, uh, olive leaves. The olive branches are absolutely fantastic, right on trend and look beautiful. So don't go too crazy with the greenery. Keep it a little bit sparse, a little bit minimal. And then also styling in three. So we've got one, we've got two, and we've got three. Always styling in odd clusters. If we do much more than that, there's too much going on and you can't really appreciate what's on there. Rather the eyes overwhelmed, rather than being directed for where the flow is. So uh, we've got a really big dining table this time. So this one is a very big one for us. This is a two metre long um, black dining table that we've got from Globe West, just been assembled. Um, so when we've got a bigger dining table, we can go bigger on our spread. That combined in combined with this really big room, really big ceilings, you can go high and you can go big. So as you can see, I've stretched um, the dressing that we popped on the table this time compared to what we would normally do where we keep everything sort of clustered. This has some elongation to it. So again, I've still got the height so and the greenery, so up high, salt and pepper, and then goes down from there. And then we've got a really cool table runner to break up the black. Um, but basically everything from when you walk up the hallway looks phenomenal. So um, the rest of the house is quite 
relaxed, it's got lots of Australian natives, which is why I've gone for these rust colours, the natural jute we woven um, table runner. Um, the whole house is beiges and naturals, which is why I've stuck with those colour schemes on the dining table spread as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's, we've had three different dining table spreads, so if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.